Hey everybody, I hope you are having a fantastic day. One of the most common questions in the Arduino Facebook group is, can you use an Arduino in commercial and industrial applications? And uh, we're going to break those down separately. First of all, commercial applications. Uh, yeah, the board is open source. You can take this and you can stick it in an enclosure and you can sell it. Uh, you can do whatever you want with it. The, the one thing you have to watch out for is the software. Some libraries may put some kind of condition in them saying, hey, you're not allowed to make any money off of this. You're not allowed to modify this in any way. Um, my library, I have a library that turns an ESP32 into a security honeypot. And you are welcome to use that however you want. In other words, you can take an ESP32, you can take my library, maybe stick it in a custom enclosure, and you can sell them to companies for $500 a piece if you want to. And I would be thrilled if you did. Uh, but when it comes to commercial applications, that's where things get a little dicier. You know, people sit there and ask, well, are these things reliable? Are they robust enough? Can they handle industrial settings? Is it a good idea? And pretty much universally, people say, no, you know, don't stick this in your grain elevator. Don't stick this in your uh, factory. Don't stick this in anywhere where safety matters and things like that. Um, so in general, people say, no, don't use these in industrial applications. But there is one company out there who says otherwise. And that company is Rugged Circuits. And they sent me this after seeing my video about all the different ways to destroy an Arduino. And they said, you know what? Uh, yeah, we saw all the different things you did to that Arduino. And basically, this board can stand up to all of them and can do a whole lot more. And so this is the Rugged Mega, and it is part of a line of several different boards. This one uh, is sort of the more general purpose board. They have other ones that are a little bit more industrial that have screw terminals on the sides. They have extended temperature ones that uh, can go down to negative 40 degrees Celsius up to 85 Celsius. But this thing is no slouch in that department. This can go negative 10 Celsius to 85 Celsius. So um, yeah, this is still a pretty robust board. And uh, they say that their board is designed to protect against most of the things that I did to destroy that board. In other words, uh, they said, you know, you can hook all the LEDs you want up to these pins and these pins here because we have 220 ohm resistors in line. Uh, you can take the 5 volt pin and short it directly to ground because we've protected against that. You can put up to 30 volts on the input barrel jack and we're good. We have a resettable fuse. Uh, we've basically taken all the basic things that someone would do to destroy an Arduino and we've protected against them. These pins can be rated for up to 10 volts in and all kinds of really cool things that they've done to protect um, us from ourselves. And so this is a very fancy Arduino and they say that it is designed to stand up to industrial applications. In other words, it can be used in high vibration environments and harsh environments and things like that. And that this thing will be just fine. Um, now the reality is most of the time when people put something like this in an industrial environment, it's to replace what they call a PLC. And if I were to try to describe a PLC to you, you would immediately think, well, gee, that sounds a lot like an Arduino, and you'd be right. A PLC looks for some kind of input, it does some processing, and it does some output. So in other words, let's say you've got a Pepsi factory, and uh, you know the can comes across, and the machine weighs it, and if it doesn't weigh the right amount, it boop kicks it out. If it does weigh the right amount, it sends it down the line. And it just makes decisions like that over and over and over again. And that sounds a lot like what an Arduino does. So there's a lot of temptation to stick a normal Arduino board to replace some kind of expensive industrial board. It's not uncommon for PLCs and things like that to be thousands of dollars, you know, at least hundreds of dollars, but often thousands of dollars. And they also involve very complicated logic a lot of times. Um, the original concept was they were replacing banks of relays. So in other words, they would use 
actual physical relays to make AND gates and NOR gates and all kinds of things like that with just physical switches going up and down. And then, you know, they start replacing that stuff with PLCs. And so naturally you think as a, as a home brewer, you think, well, can I do that with an Arduino? Well, again, the people from Rugged Circuits say yes. And they have this 60 some dollar PLC replacement shield and this thing is made to fit on top of your normal uh, Not your normal mega your rugged mega. Uh, it will not work on a on a cheap old mega um, and this is actually designed to replace a PLC so let's say you have a grain silo with a malfunctioning PLC that they want to charge you $2,500 uh, to replace or something like that. You can actually take your rugged mega and your, um, and your shield and you can replace that PLC and you can program it right in the Arduino IDE. And so what's really cool about this is most of that industrial stuff runs off 24 volts. And so you can actually power this Arduino with 24 volts and read all of your PLC sensors. You can set the ranges so that this thing can be zero to five or zero to 10 for your inputs. Uh, it has the same protections that this thing has. And basically you can replace a PLC and use your normal Arduino C logic as opposed to having to sit there and program the whole thing in some kind of complicated PLC ladder logic. And so I don't have 24 volt sensors here to really play around with it, but I have played around with the boards and it's pretty dang interesting. So one of the reasons why I love mailbag videos so much is that I constantly come across products that I had no idea they even existed. And uh, that's the way it was with these things. I had no idea that there were commercial and industrial Arduinos that were just out there on the market. And that got me looking at their testimonial page. And uh, they told me these things are used on all seven continents. And, you know, looking at the testimonials, there's agricultural people. There's people replacing Allen and Bradley PLCs. There's a, uh, a telescope place that rebuilt their old 1980s telescope controller with one of these boards. Uh, you know, there's an airplane, an aviation company that's using them on 28 volt airplane systems and boiler rooms and all kinds of stuff like that. And to me, that's pretty cool. One of the things that we're dealing with as a country and even as a world right now is this whole idea of right to repair. And, you know, ask farmers what they think about John Deere and their right to repair, and you'll probably not be able to get away from them. Um, and so, you know, the fact that we can basically say to these companies, hey, you know, you don't want to sell us this replacement board, we're going to make our own. I think that's pretty powerful. So I'm gonna thank the people from Rugged Circuits for sending these boards out. And I'd love to have a discussion in the uh, comments about what you guys think about these. Has anyone replaced any kind of PLC with an Arduino board? Did you use a standard one? Did you use something that was more ruggedized? Uh, what do you think about the whole right to repair? Have you ever used an Arduino to stick it to the man? Uh, anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day.